you like them? Are they cool? Are they cool? Mommy, yeah. They're mommy. They're mommy. Don't touch. Here, look. Let's let mommy do it. Oh. Where do you want to go? Where? <laughs> Later, boo boos. I know. Well, hello there. Happy Thursday. We dropped Olivia off at her class, which the, the local NBC News was coming to film and do a segment on Soul Cycle. Pretty awesome, huh? And then we went to Starbucks, which we had a good little time, sat, and did all the Starbucks stuff. Then uh, we went to a new playground because, like I'd been talking about, um, we are trying to just, you know, just explore and find our favorite ones and, and also shake it up a little bit, you know. So we went to this Garden Hills playground, which is actually at the Garden Hills pool, which is sort of a neighborhood pool, but a, a bigger one in this area. Okay. Beautiful, great, all this stuff. The local swim team, you know, like in the neighborhood, all that kind of thing. Well, Harper's pretty much obsessed with the pool right now ever since we went the other day at our apartment, and he wants to go like every time. Pool, pool, waking up pool. Well, that was not a good, like he, he kept seeing the other kids go to the pool, and the playground was actually really good, but he could not handle it. So, we had a knockdown drag out, and He's, you know, just in that phase where he, when he gets really upset and you're holding him, he, you know, he wants to like hit and push. And so I'm trying to teach him, we're, we're trying to teach him how not to do that, which is really hard. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. So I gave him a couple times and then I was like, we're leaving. But then I couldn't get him in the car seat. I couldn't even give him something to watch to get in the car seat. And uh, so we just, you know, I, I tried to explain to him we're going to the pool at Harper's house, at our house, and later, and it's just, you know, someone tweeted the other day about how they talk to their toddler when they're in a, in a tantrum state. They said, I don't negotiate with terrorists. I mean, it truly is like crazy talk. Um, and, you know, we're in the middle of the neighborhood, and, parents and kids and I know most people understand I'm, I'm not worried about that but you're just like how do I resolve this because there's not a lot happening here that's going to be helpful to Harper helpful to me I guess oh man anyway I'm just talking because it's always traumatic it's just traumatic so anyway that was our that was our we he didn't stay as long as we wanted he I basically I believe he understood that because he was pushing and kind of hitting me uh, that we we had to leave and go home and we weren't gonna go to the pool although that's probably just it was a hard situation for him to be in knowing how to say the word and really understanding what it is which is great but for him to be there while he's playing and other kids are going there I get it that's a big deal that was a big deal so anyway that's pretty much it I'm uh, he's kind of recovered a little bit he calmed down which he always does, but you know, it's just it's just hard and you wanna know how to do it. And you can read all the things you want to and you can pick up tips, And but really it's your child and, and the way that they respond, they're, they're all different. I know that. I was hearing somebody say the other day that the, you know, we hear this verse, I think it's in Proverbs, but train up a child in the way they should go and, and when they're old they won't depart from it. He said, actually the Hebrew really means train up a child in, the, in their way that they should go. Because each one is, is different, so, right? Bath bomb. Oh, a bath bomb? We'll get a bath bomb. Are you watching a video about bath bomb? We'll definitely get you a bath bomb. Uh, and we'll have a bath bomb later. Daddy will be happy to do that. 
So, also one of our friends posted on Facebook, which I thought this was really good. She's like, nobody likes to be in a store and hear kids screaming, yada, yada, yada. But, she's like, I've come to be thankful for it because when I hear kids screaming, I know that their parents have told them no. And so, I remind myself of that. Thank you, Michael, for that. That's helpful. So, that's rendezvous with mom. And I see all the NBC people, they took the class too, so they're taking pictures. So, happy Thursday! <laughs> Mommy's so hungry! Mommy is starving. Pool, pool! <laughs> He's still talking about the pool. I talked to them all about what happened at the Garden Hills pool. No! Hey! Are no gonna, pictures, please. Are you going to be bad? If you're bad, we can't go to the pool. You have to be a good boy. Uh, we're going to go eat first, and then we're going to go to the pool. Okay? Yeah. How was your class? It was so great. The, the NBC affiliate came and rode. It was awesome. Awesome. It was great. Good. And the interview was good? The interview was very good. It was super quick and super easy, but it was Great. Did they want to know if you wanted to go to the pool? No. <laughs> they did not want to care about that. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll, we'll see you guys a little bit later. <laughs> yes, I love it. Your claim to fame is The Biggest Loser. I won season 11 of The Biggest Loser seven years ago. I lost 129 pounds. I'm just going to cheer you on. You're going to cheer me on. Worthy of being an athlete. So whether it's like your first ride, or you're at the beginning of a health journey, or if you are like a professional athlete status, there's a place for you in there. And for so many years, I felt so displaced in the fitness industry that I didn't have a place. And from literally from my very first ride at Soul Cycle, I was like, oh, this is home. This is where I belong. And it's eight years down the line, and I'm still riding bikes in there. I love it. How do you think the crew did today? I thought they were amazing. Like, I, you know, you just never know what to expect. And I mean, they were just in there, like, giving me all the energy. It, like, made my whole day. <laughs> and I think it's just a telltale sign when the energy is super high that people are just having a really good time. Yeah. They're mommy. They're mommy. Don't touch. Here, look. Let's let mommy do it. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, Harper. Oh. Here we go. Hey, Harper. Yeah. Harper. Hey, Harper. Yeah. All right. All right. That's enough. Time night for night night. Night nights. Hi, everybody. And Hello. more. And more. Mm -hmm. And more. And more what? And more. What? Did you have a good day? Say, yes, I got some new jammies on. My food truck jammies. Say, I went food to trucks. playground and then, and then got the went to the pool. pool. And then and went then to the playground again. Went to play and lived his best life at Chick-fil-A with all his friends, his older boy friends. Because Chick-fil-A has an indoor, actually really nice place. <laughs> We go to all the Chick-fil-A playgrounds. And that means mommy can get a Diet Arnold <laughs> Palmer. <laughs> so anyway, so tomorrow is a fast day. Yep. Which is great because, full transparency, I've not eaten that great past couple days. Me either. It just, just saying, guys. Yeah, we started out real strong, and then it just kind of went. And so now it's fine. You just own it, and then you get right back on it tomorrow. And it actually works out great that it's a fast day tomorrow because I'm a fast till four, and just really pray during that time and get back on track. Because you know what? Like nobody, you. It's like I just let go a couple years ago. My eating is never going to be perfect, and. 
I'm gonna go through ebbs and flows. I may go through a week where I don't eat that great, but my thing is as long as there are more weeks in the year that I eat good than bad, I'm okay with that, you know yeah. what I mean? Daddy, daddy. But I used to just be like, mommy, if I ate mommy, bad, mommy. hi baby, what? <laughs> I used to, if I ate bad, like a week would turn into a month, which would turn into like two months. I mean, it's just because I would feel so guilty and I just am not, I, if you're feeling that, lay that down, just, do the best you can, get right back on it. Harper. Lay it all down, lay it all down, lay it all down, lay it all down. At the feet of Jesus. <laughs> At the feet of mama, Jesus. Mama, uh, mama. Is that your mama? Is that mama? Oh. Busted. Busted. What's busted? Oh. oh. Oh, the TV went off. Well, on that note. That went out fast. We'll check you guys later. Ew. Smell you later. Open this. Say bye bye, Ew. everybody. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Put it in there. Yeah. yeah.